Well, sir, it's a few minutes past 12 o'clock as we enter the small house halfway up in the next block now. And here in the living room, we find Mrs. Victor Gook and her son, Mr. Rush Gook. Since our friends aren't in the kitchen partaking of their noonday meal, it's our immediate inference that the meat's not done. And that's exactly the case. Listen. Both you and your father expressly asked for beef punkles. Beef punkles require ages and ages to get tender, so don't complain about the delay. <laughs> okay. Gov is the boy that'll complain. He'll say, Sadie, you may pack your valise. Yeah. <laughs> Sadie, you may pack your valise and quit the premises. <laughs> I've warned you that the next time I come home and found the meat not done, I'd marry some other woman. Delivery boy's fault. I never got my beef punkles on the stove earlier. Never showed up till almost 10 o'clock. I'm astonished Mr. Croucher keeps him. He's a smart alecky kid, too. This morning he answered me back flip when I inquired. Here's Governor. Hi. Hi. Sadie, you may pack your valise. Uh-huh. My kitchenware dealer's quarterly come. Golly, I never looked to see if there was any mail. I'll go. Kiddo, did my magazine come? Well, I don't know. Willie's going to the mailbox. It's there, Doc. I can see it through the window. I must have been busy this morning. I never forget to bring in the mail. I saw Steve Chessbutter downtown. They told me they made a horrible mistake. Who? The editors of the kitchenware dealer's quarterly. What'd they do? Oh, printed some half-wits picture and labeled it Victor R. Gooker, plan number 14. Really? Well, that's what Steve claimed. Oh. It was true that doggone magazine editors are careless slobs. Mm. <laughs> Shall I go pack my valise? Huh? <laughs> the meat's not done. Shall I go pack my valise? <laughs> Hurry up with that, George. I'm glancing at the jokes. We'll get a move on. I knew they were going to print my picture in this issue, and I've been waiting for it. Going into what Steve says is correct, I... Okay, okay. <laughs> Here's a pretty funny joke. An Irishman was riding on horseback and got his foot caught in the stirrup. Be jabers, he says. Ye spell pee... And that over here. Mm. <laughs> Your father never kicked a bit about the meat not being done. <laughs> Maybe you got him tamed. Page 86, Steve says my picture's on. Man, an Irishman was riding on horseback and he got his foot caught in the stirrup. Be jabers, ye spalpeen, he says. I'm oh, gonna... Oh, for God's sakes. Let's see. Oh, lay smoke. Well, let's see. Talk about sloppiness. Them dimwit magazine editors must be asleep. This is supposed to be you? I don't it say Victor R. Gook underneath? Yeah, Victor R. Gook, plan 14. Let me see. <laughs> Bald-headed fella in a striped swimming suit. <laughs> uh, get a letter for me that would singe their eyebrows off. This fella's got garters on, but no socks or shoes. Oh, my. I could sue the crooks for this. Read that whole business underneath there, Rush. Uh, here you see pictured Victor R. Gook, capable chief accountant <laughs> at plant number 14. Mr. Gook is shown at his home in Gravelman, South Carolina, all ready to enjoy a dip in the Pacific Ocean. Was that all? Yeah. I was supposed to publish a biographical sketch. A long biographical sketch. What do they do? Publish a picture of some other slob and print one little six sentence. And that one little six sentence is completely wrong. You don't live in Gravelman, South Carolina. Oh, don't I? <laughs> it's news to me if you do. Let me see that outrage again. Here you are. I ought to go up to Chicago and grab that editor and knock his head together. Maybe there's another fellow with the name Victor R. Gook. Yeah. At plant number 14, there's another fellow with the name Victor R. Gook. Funny I'm not acquainted with him. I spend all my time at plant number 14. You think I'd have bumped into this other Victor R. Gook that works at plant number 14? Mm. Look at this ape. Striped swimming suit and idiotic grin on his face. <laughs> Notice his garters? Garters and no shoes and socks. I've been counting on my picture and biographical sketch in this kitchenware dealer's quarterly and looking forward to it. I plan on ordering a dozen copies and sending them around to friends. And then this mess. Here you see picture Victor R. Gook, capable chief accountant at plant number 14. Mr. Gook is shown at his home in Gravelman, South Carolina, all ready to enjoy a dip in the Pacific Ocean. Hey, another mistake. South Carolina ain't on the Pacific Ocean. South Carolina's on the Atlantic Ocean. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Well, maybe the fellow is just visiting in the neighborhood of the Pacific Ocean. He lives in the Atlantic Ocean, but he happens to be visiting. No, because it says he's at his home. Uh, mm. Mr. Gook is shown at his home in Gravelman, South Carolina. Oh. Mr. Gook is shown at his home in Gravelman, South Carolina, already to enjoy a dip in the Pacific Ocean. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. 
<laughs> By George Victor Argook, and he have to make a high dive all the way across the United States if he plunged into the Pacific Ocean from South Carolina. Stuff like this makes a guy sore, say. That's too bad. I plan to send clippings to Bess and Walter, the Dixon outfit, Robert and Laura Steen, and Y.Y. Flirch, and half a dozen other Tell guys. Them, Wonder who'd be calling at the noon hour. Smelly Clark, maybe. Answer. I'd like to know who this slob in the swimming suit is. Big Star Gook from Plant 14. I ought to go murder somebody in Chicago. Hello? Yes, I believe he is. One second. Sounds like Mr. Nice, I forgot. Uh-huh. On a wisecrack about this magazine mess. Wonder why this fella never took his garters off. <laughs> Maybe it's fashionable to leave mine in Gravelman, South Carolina. When people in Gravelman, South Carolina feel like a dip in the Pacific okay, Ocean. Okay, let's have it quiet. Hello? Oh, yes, Ike. Uh, I'm looking at it now. Holy smoke, did you ever hear of anything so stupid? Where did I get the striped swimming suit? Well, it don't strike me, humorous Ike. Strikes me the rottenest piece of half-wit carelessness as I have. Huh? What am I liable to do, Ike? Is to take off my garters and wrap them around your neck. <laughs> Ike made a remark about this guy's garters. Uh-huh. Okay, Ike. Have a hearty belly laugh for yourself. Go ahead. Okay, laugh yourself sick. I'm going to hang up, though. Okay. So long. You big ox. Ike? Yes. Oh, it's too bad. Best and Walter would have got a big thrill out of your picture in a magazine. Oh, uh, this man resembles you a little. He does, at that. Something about the mouth and chin. Well, maybe it is me. Of course, he's bald-headed and I'm not. He's got ears that flop over sideways and I haven't. He's got a striped swimming suit and I never owned one. Well, it's probably me. Come to think of it, I live in government, South Carolina. Too bad. Smelly Clark's uncle Strap once had an experience where Another he... Another yeah, feeling in a mood for a little horseplay. Well, I'll answer that, Greg. Right? Okay. You'll probably have to put up with a lot of Josh. I'm liable to break somebody's skull. Hello. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Garters and no socks and shoes. <laughs> Yeah. Must be Mr. Rumor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very funny. Yes, indeed. Oh, is it? Ha-ha. <laughs> I see. <laughs> well, okay, Mr. Rumor. Okay. <laughs> Bye. He's hanging on to his sides. It's too bad. Gave me some information, anyway. He recognized this baboon. Oh, really? Who is it? Chalmers S. Phoebe. Chief accountant like you? No. Head of the boxing department at plant number eight, Shackleville, Oregon. Another mistake, then. Says here he lives in South Carolina. The magazine editors ought to be kicking the snoot. Oh, it's too bad. Them big crocs. Mr. Rubish never explained why the fella left his garters on, did he? I've been... No, okay, I'll get that. <laughs> Goes in for plenty of this job. Yeah. Hello? How are you, Turpin? My autograph? Want me to autograph my picture in the kitchen where it is? Ha-ha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, you're very funny, Turpin. You're very, very funny, Turpin. Ha-ha-ha, <laughs> Turpin. Look, Turpin, I'm busy right at the moment. Suppose you call me back sometime next month. Okay, Turpin. Sam, Turpin? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Look at this hyena. Striped swimming suit. Hmm. Garters and no socks and shoes. Hmm. Here you see pictured Victor R. Gook, capable chief accountant at plant number 14. Mr. Gook is shown at his home in Gravelman, South Carolina, all ready to enjoy a dip in the Pacific Ocean. It's too bad. Doggone, that doggone, doggone luck. Mom, you suppose the meat's done? Vic. Oh, God, that dog on dog on luck. Vic. What? Let's go eat our dinner. Which concludes another brief interlude at the small house halfway up in the next block.